Colorado Springs is racing for another round of severe weather tonight. Boy, they could really use a break after tennis ball sized hail just pummeled windshields and roofs. Look at that. Drivers got caught off guard not only by all that hail, but flooding, too. And can you imagine being stuck outside in this? The severe storms that just rolled through just over the Colorado border from Wyoming this week look more like a hurricane mixed with hail. Well, needless to say, there's a lot of damage. Lance Hernandez traveled to Pine Bluffs to get a look at the damage firsthand. Take a look at the siding on the west side of the house. Now take a look at the siding on the south side. You can see where the wind-driven hail just ripped it to shreds. The homeowner still cleaning up her yard. This is home video of the storm shot by Terry Stagy. You can see his son running to move his pickup to protect it from the hail. As he drove it to the other side of the house, the heavens let loose. Hail, driven by 80 mile an hour winds, began pounding his pickup. I was getting pretty worried. I considered getting under the dash. And... I've never seen anything like it. Uh, <laughs> it was like a freight train coming through. Today, you can still see the damage all over town. Siding ripped to shreds, trees stripped of their needles, leaves, and fruit, some uprooted. This is Trisha Burry's apple tree, the fruit all on the ground. She and her son Cordell were in their house when hail came crashing through a skylight. Water was pouring in, the hail was bouncing around in there. We ran and got towels, couldn't shop back it up or anything yet because there was no power until like 8.30. The Wyoming governor called out the National Guard. Today their mission is to support cleanup efforts for people that are unable to clean up their property themselves. That means raking yards, removing debris, and helping the community get back on its feet. There's still no estimate on the overall damage, but longtime residents tell me it's the worst hailstorm they've ever seen. In Pine Bluffs, Wyoming, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.